Well, hello there, beautiful people. Welcome back to another episode of Paint Chronicles. I'm Emmy. Well, it has been a hot second since I've made one of these videos. You know my mom always told me, if you ain't got nothing nice to say, don't say nothing at all. So I guess I've spent the last, well, year or so in a rather reflective mood and trying not to put out too many judgments or, or too many opinions. Unfortunately, I think the internet is just covered in opinions and I really don't feel the necessity to add my voice to all the confusion. There's so many topics of discussion that are up for debate nowadays, it seems, and while I do have my stance on a lot of things, I try not to come across as if I know better or more, because I really don't. And I don't like to pretend, I don't like to lie, so I avoid injecting that opinion into somebody else's day. Honestly, I just didn't feel like I had too much to say that was really important. I'm also struggling with trying to come up with something to talk about that's real. I like to be real. I prefer that. I also prefer for this subject to have some sort of depth and complexity. I love a good conversation, but it's hard to do that with just myself. Stories kind of fell by the wayside. A lot fell by the wayside in this past year. I struggle with anxiety, I struggle with depression, but I will say that my art has never stopped. I continue to paint on pretty much a daily basis, whether it's something little, a project for someone else, something that's truly inspired me, or just something that sounds like fun. Trying new things, and it's been a really good thing and it's opened a lot of doors for me. I managed to get my artwork into a gallery in a city near me. I spent a month as a featured artist in that gallery and it was probably one of the most bonkers experiences of my life. When I walked into that gallery and saw all of my artwork displayed on those awesome walls, I had a serious moment of what? Like a good moment, but still, what? That was my stuff hanging up in that gallery. That was my work. It was a surreal moment. Even Steve got a little bit teary-eyed. He might be unhappy that I just said that in a video. <laughs> But it was precious. It was so cool to walk in and see all of these pieces that I had spent so much time on and to go, wow, that could be worth something to someone. I did manage to sell a few pieces, which it wasn't a lot, but it was enough to make me go, I accomplished something. <laughs> it was an amazing experience. I've been painting more with acrylic, so that's part of what's been stopping me from posting any more videos because I have yet to find a really good way with the filming equipment that I do have to film myself painting on canvas at a good angle without my head getting in the way. I recently rediscovered these small canvases at my local dollar store and I think they're a good instrument to use in order to paint for these videos. So I've got a few tricks up my sleeve that I'm working on, but eventually I would like to be able to film myself painting some of my bigger pieces. I will say that most of my YouTube channel is filled with me painting watercolor. While I enjoyed watercolor, it was also an incredible challenge every single time. I'm not complaining because I love the challenge and I embrace that challenge, but acrylic is just a whole different story. So for this piece I'm working on, this is the mask from Crash Bandicoot 3, Warped. That game came out in 1998, which is just wild. I was eight years old, and I have no idea when we actually purchased the game. I do remember playing it and just loving it. And I probably only made it through like the first three levels, but I would play those first three levels like a zillion times. Video games were a huge part of my life growing up. My mom loved to play Dr. Mario, Spyro, Crash Bandicoot, Mario Kart, Mario Party, and of course most of my siblings loved to play those games too. I also grew up watching my brother play Metroid, Mario 64, Pikmin. Oh my god, I love Pikmin. Those two games that came out for that series are just some of my favorite. They're a little ridiculous, very cartoony, pretty silly, which kind of describes me in a bubble. So it all works out. Oh, I suppose I should mention that I got married this year? This April, Steve and I decided, okay, now's the time. 
Instead of waiting around for this COVID stuff to die down, we figured let's just do a simple ceremony with just me and him, and next year hopefully we can have a nice big celebration, depending on how things are working out, you know. It was super fun. It was just me, Steve, and our buddy Tyler who got ordained to marry us. It was amazing. I regret nothing. We got some awesome pictures. A friend of ours ordered us a cake, which was super sweet. I mean the action was sweet, not the cake was like overly sweet. <laughs> the cake was delicious. Got to hang out with some of my family after the ceremony. And then we spent two weeks just relaxing at home. Just the two of us, no work, no stressors, and it was beautiful. But I digress. I decided this week that I was going to try something a little bit different, and then I chose the mask to try to emulate as best as I could. I'm working on several other pieces at the minute, and I should have some pictures posted pretty soon, but I'm really looking forward to getting back into recording these videos and maybe speaking out a little. I don't intend to, like, broadcast my opinion in a way that is annoying or cumbersome. That's just really not my style. But I'm sure there's some things I could talk about on here that hopefully won't get too much flack. I have no idea what those things are yet, hence this episode of me just rambling about all the things that I can't really do. But this year has been a good year for me. It's been a lot of self-discovery, a lot of artistic discovery, and a year of challenging myself to shut up that inner voice inside that tells me I'm not a proper artist because I wasn't classically trained. I didn't really take classes in college for this stuff. I went for animation and visual effects, so, you know, drawing was important in a way, but I never got a chance to really explore the painting portion of things. I don't, I don't know artists, I don't know who did what. I just pick up a paintbrush, toss some paint on a palette, and I go for it because that's what feels right to me. And I've spent so long thinking that that was a detriment to my work. That because I was different, that made me bad. But I don't really believe that's true anymore. If you struggle with imposter syndrome, don't listen to that little voice. It's a liar. That little voice that says, you're just not good enough. Your passion, your artwork, whatever it is that drives you. When that little voice creeps in and says, don't even try. It's lying to you. At least that's what I've learned for myself. Sometimes that little voice keeps me in check. It keeps me from becoming a person I don't want to be. Someone who's overly confident, without right. I never want to think of myself as better than anyone else. Again, that's just not my personality. But I've been learning, just like everything else in life, that there is a balance to things. And when that little voice becomes too much, when it stops me from having any forward momentum, I have to turn it off. And I have to go, look, this is what I'm doing, and I'm good enough. It may not be perfect. It may not be exactly how I wanted things to go. But it's something I can usually be proud of. Maybe not being classically trained is what makes me a good thing. Maybe that is what makes me different or stand out in a certain way. I may not be as good as... Well, I can't even think of anybody to offer up as an example. I may not be as good as the next artist, but I'm okay with my skill level, and I will continue to challenge that skill level in order to learn as much as I possibly can and to get better, because this is something I'm passionate about and I really enjoy. So there's a harsh opinion for you. So I'm sorry for disappearing for a while. It's been a challenge, but also a good thing. A good challenge. I'm hoping to continue making these videos in whatever medium that I decide to use next. Painting has been the best way I've found to express myself both emotionally, mentally, and I'm sure I'll stay on that train for a while. If you have any requests of something you would like to see me do, please let me know. Don't forget to like and subscribe and ring the bell for notifications when I post these videos. Also don't forget to follow me on Instagram at Emmy's Art Stuff. Oh, I do have a new website emmysartstuff.com where I have all sorts of prints, different kinds of objects you can get those prints on. There's tapestries, phone cases, masks, puzzles. I really want to get a puzzle of my space napple. That could be super cool. And until next time, you have a lovely day. And as always, stay creative.